Hello, um, it's been a while since we did the disposable video camera challenge, but this time we're going to do a rematch. And this time Joss is going to be shooting on the Kodak and I'm going to be shooting on the Fujifilm. So I bought the cameras, one right here. I'm going to throw it at Joss to see if he's uh, up for the challenge. Joss! Let's go. <laughs> Take two. You took the you took the victory last time. You took the, I took a big L. You did. Um, I'm not. I'm not. It's not happening again this time, mate. It's not happening at all. There's one thing that I remember last time, Joss, and that was at least 80% of your photos had your thumb in them. Oh. Will that happen again this time? Don't know, but I still won, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> there is one thing, Joss, is that as the creative director, it scares me a little bit that I have to lose again. So. If you wouldn't mind, mate, let me win this oh, competition. Yeah, yeah, of course, boss. Yeah, yeah, of course, boss. I wouldn't, good, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, good uh, employee. Okay. Yeah, I, I know, I know it really, really messed with you last time. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to take a little left here. Okay. Uh, I think it's probably about time that we introduce the cameras. The same, the exact same two cameras that we had last time, except this time I'm going to be shooting on the Fujifilm uh, Quick Snap. I'm on the Kodak Fun Saver. They've only got 27 opportunities to make magic. So we've got to do a self portrait, a portrait of someone else, a Exterior shot? An exterior shot, residential, and a landscapey shot. The rest is up to us. But we're pretty lucky because this, uh, <laughs> this lovely brown field behind us <laughs> is only over the road from our office. So we thought we may as well start the challenge here and shoot some stuff. There's someone walking towards me now and I'm thinking I'd love to get a portrait of them. So who knows, maybe the first photo on this camera will be a portrait of a dog walker. Open it up, same as before. If I can get into it. <clears throat> it is in a cardboard box. And there it is. Classic Kodak colours. There's classic um, Kodak colours. It is a classic Kodak. Yellow, red, windy, flash. This one comes in a plastic bag. Did yours come in a plastic bag? Yes. Not shiny and silver though. Not shiny and silver. Mine's shiny and silver. Although, I'll be taking first place, which is gold and shiny and silver. No, gold and shiny, not silver. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> wow, very durable plastic wrap there. Opens it up. It's way... It just looks a bit rubbish. Compared to that, Compared I love to the that. colours on that. Mine's quite longer, quite a bit oh. longer actually. It's quite chunky. Hold it there, hold it there. For my first photo, I've just spotted this straight away. This little bit here. There's this nice gate in the foreground, a lovely tree there, and just about to come behind the tree is an aeroplane. It's a nice clear day so I can see all of it. So, I'm watch fully out wound for the, up. Watch out for the thumbs, Joss. Shut up, mate. I'm glad mine isn't broken for when you launch at my head. <laughs> Right, where's this subject of mine? Come on, Barbara, where are you? <laughs> so I'm going to, the lady's coming down here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just ask her just to make sure that she's all right with it. Yes. Uh, give a good smile, because I'm usually pretty good at that. Uh, give a good smile, say, hello there. Would you mind if I took a photo for you? I'm doing some poor photo assignment. And then she'll be like, yeah, no worries at all. And then boom, get the shot. You guys can film from a distance. I'll be back in two. Well, Dan is doing that. I'm just gonna get a, I think my, my first portrait of the lovely cameraman, Max. There's some nice sunlight, very harsh sunlight, but it's lovely. Could you lower the camera just a little bit? I'm doing a, um, a photo challenge today. Uh, we're just taking some photos on these cameras. Do you mind if I take a photo of you and your dog? Yeah. You don't want them? How about a photo of your dog? Can I take one of those? Here, yeah, Rosie. Rosie. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a good day. As you can see there, my first attempted portrait was a failure. The lady wasn't keen, but I got a photo of Rosie, her dog. Beautiful. What a beautiful dog. Nice. Shall we head that way towards the rugby pitches? Let's do that, Joss. So we know that the judge who's gonna be judging us on this is Ben. We know that Ben likes the simple things in life. <laughs> Sometimes even like a little pop of color, Ben will get really excited about. Oh, my shadow's in it. That's the only thing. Ooh. Do I waste the shot? Kind of looks like it's been broken into. I've committed there. Look at that posture. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Watch this shot. Wait, Joss. Don't disturb Joss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hello mate. Hello, How are you? Fine, yeah, good. I'm doing a, uh, a camera challenge. Could I take a photo of you you in your yeah, in your car? No, no, no. no. How about can I take a photo of your uh, what are these? Camera lettuces. Cheers then. 
doing it again. Damn it. Sometimes the smile works. This day, it's not working. This could be a failure. Oh, do I turn it upside down? Jesus, mate. It's kind of... Someone is beeping over there. <laughs> My shadow is so in that. <laughs> I've just missed a great photo. A guy went by on a bike, and I think the key is always be pre-wound. Because I was just like, oh, and he's gone. Missed it. So I'm now pre-wound, ready to go. Opportunity missed. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a photo of the Pizza Hut thing to try and get some sort of company endorsement so we get three pizzas. <laughs> yeah, you about to take about buy that pizza? Let me Hello just get there. a photo, please. Just take a little nibble. Are you, are you eating? Oh, what's no, that no. meat feast? Oh, it smells and looks lovely. So the um, the one thing that I haven't tested yet on this is its close-up ability. Look at the wreckage. Joss, where are we going, mate? I, are we safe around here? Just somewhere secret, baby. This is the BMW that I want to get the photo of. It's a little bit covered, annoyingly, but I think we can still work with it. I'm gonna get, get a cup of it. Mate, look at that BMW as well. Yeah, these are epic cool, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I want that fork to come all the way up so it can uh... I need the fork to come all the way up so I can differentiate between that and the, the background. That thing is so big. Come on, lift it up. That'll do. That was it. That's it for this part of the video. Um, we've done the external stuff around the office. If I'm honest, I'm a little bit on eggshells right here. I'm a bit scared. Of what? With the shots you just got the BMW. I obviously wanted to shoot that, but I couldn't copy it, so. I think you are doing better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading into Swindon Town. Uh, we're going to go to Old Town first. Old Town first. Um, I've only got 12 exposures left. I've got 12 shots left. I've got 10. I'm going to probably go for five in Old Town. Five in town. We cool. will see you tomorrow. Ooh. Hello, day two. We are in Old Town, at the first location, and then we're going to go to town afterwards. And it's a much greater day than yesterday, so we've got nice contrast from day one. We have. I also think today my objective is actually to shoot with a flash. I've not loaded the flash on this at all yet. True. I've not used it once. So I'm Ready gonna to shoot go. my first shot now. That should be good. I've got a, a photo just here I wanna get. Nice long driveway with a little convertible Audi tucked away. And what's quite nice, we've got the tree in the foreground as well. Just spotted a um, an old house just over the hill here and, and i'm going to try and get my own back on joss after he got the classic bmws i'm going to try and top that with a classic peugeot i think it's a peugeot 2cv old car dad's favorite let's go get it come with me i don't think it's a peugeot <laughs> is it not i think it's, it's a, a two it's a two is it a citroen 2cv same thing they're french <laughs> right <laughs> we good if i could get more of the car in it I've definitely only got five shots left now. <laughs> Max's, Max's outfit is fitting with this scenery. So yeah, Max, if you can just keep rolling, keep doing what you're doing there. Oh, I'm gonna get more headroom. Styling, thank you. So yeah, we've, um, I think I've overexhausted Old Town now. I wanna get down into town and get some street stuff. Five shots left. You went a bit crazy on that house, mate. You let loose a little bit. I did. I didn't really, I was going down that hill thinking, nah, I'm, I'm gonna leave this place with like six shots, but no. I'm gonna get a self portrait just before we leave. There is a mirror just here. No idea if that's gonna be framed up right. <laughs> We're down the back of the railway village, which is a really nice part of Swindon, actually. Yeah, lovely collection of houses. Josh, do I get the shot of the shoes hanging from the thing? Or is that a bit too cliche? Mate, do it. It's kind of iconic. 
That's why I like it. Yeah. I've, I've taken a photo on my Leica on my iPhone, and I think it's about time I take on this. It's been, it's been really cool to actually shoot with a Fuji film. Like last time I was on the Kodak, mm. this time with the Fuji. Um, it's the same, you know, it's the same solution, it's just a different name on the front of it. The functionality of this, like, it's quite hard to tell how many shots you've got left. Like the little screen on top isn't the biggest, so it's quite hard yeah. to work out. All in all, pretty happy. I think if you're, it's great for like a trip away or for some kind of occasion. If you're going to do it long term, yeah, better to invest in a nice little camera. But they're good for things like this and just having a little play around. Exactly. Hey. Hi. Are we able to get these two developed here? Yes. We're done. We're, the files are in. Well, the files. The, the film, the cameras are in with the, with the lovely lady at Snappy Snaps. Yes. We're about to get them developed. I'm a bit excited to see them. I'm excited as well. Um, I've also put in my, my Olympus Mu2 camera to get developed too, so that should be pretty cool to see. Um, so there'll be a video coming on that soon, which I also shot some photos with today, so. We're just gonna hang here for an hour whilst the photos get developed and then find out what surprises we've shot. They will be surprises. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking forward to the uh, winner's coffee? Mm. The winner's coffee is going to be interesting because for once, Joss is going to be buying them. Nah, I'm not. I'm definitely not. Dan, you're going to be buying another round of coffees. <laughs> cool, we're back. We're in the studio. It's now time for me to select my selects. Uh, just been to dark room. Joss picked the prints up. I'm gonna pick my five favorite photos. So we are shooting, just to reiterate, we're doing one portrait of someone else, one self-portrait, one architectural shot, one landscape, and then one wild card, which is like a personal preference. Um, obviously we have no idea what any of these look like. We've only looked through the viewfinder on the day. So let's have a look what's inside. It's photo time, baby. Let's get it. All right, so Dan has laid out his photos here with each category, and now I'm gonna put mine in front. Let's see what we have in here. Hi everyone, it is now Judgment Day with me, your favorite judge, Ben Lawton. All right then, first category is architecture. <clears throat> here we go. Should I do both at the same time? Yeah. Oh, those are very good. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. First thoughts, anyway. Sorry, um, they're both a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Um, the the one of Swindon is really nice. I think I really like it, the fact it's Swindon, so I recognise it. The pizza one's interesting because I used to work there. Um, but I love the hue of the white to the blue. It's a bit like a Californ California LUT on it. It's quite, quite, quite sexy. I'm going to go. For, I'm going to go for Swindon on that one, um, just because I love this, but I feel like I've seen it on Tumblr before. Portraits? Portraits. Portraits. Have you, have you two seen the other person's choices? No. no. Right, okay. So we are counting dogs as a portrait. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I mean, in terms of, in terms of handsomeness, it's, it's quite equal between the two. Um, <laughs> our cameraman, Max, and do you know what the dog's called? I shouldn't ask that because then it'll give it away, wouldn't it? Probably. Don't know. Um, if I'm honest, I'm not overly impressed with either compared to the first round. They're, wow. They're, they're both nice, but the, the first round was absolutely kicker. I am going to go for Max because it, it looks better lit. Cool. Landscape. Landscape. That's a very easy, this one, I think, um, just because of the light flare from the sun and this just looks like something I would shoot. No offense to the person who put that in. Um, just looks a bit shit. Okay, wildcard time. Um... I like them both a lot. This is like the first round where it's, it's very equal off the bat. Although I do prefer the framing on the Beetle. Is it a Beetle? I think it's a Citroen or Peugeot or something. On the non-BMW. Um, the BMW shot's really cool as well. For some reason though, I feel like the, there's almost like there's a grade on the Citroen one, which I'm just liking a bit more. I'm, I'm gonna have to go for the Citroen, I think. Interesting we both went for cars. Yes. As our wild cars. Yes. Wild cars. Or wild car, yeah. <laughs> right, nice. self-portrait then. You still don't know the pointing at the moment. Oh, no, who's you don't know the who's down. So this is quite interesting. But you guys do, right? 
We do. We're keeping Matt track. Matt <laughs> The audience does. You don't. <laughs> Sick, Joss. Yours is good, <laughs> Joss. <laughs> so it's yours, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, the photos this year are so much better than last year's. <laughs> yeah, they are. A lot I more, agree. A lot more creative. <laughs> they're so good. A lot, of these last, yeah. a lot of these photos, I think you could actually frame. They're, they're really cool. Um, again, I love the I love the effect this camera has with a bit of a. It's got like a, it feels like it's got a different grade on it compared to the other one. It's a bit more like it has like a bit of more of a nostalgia feel. When you shoot something like an old car, it really, it really pops. However. What I appreciate in your photo is it kind of like you've shot the light in the dark. Like this is so dark, but this is so light. But so is yours, because like like what Ben was saying, all this colour around the outside is great, but then you've got this pocket of light with you in. What's it gonna be, big boy? I'm gonna go Joss on this one. Wait now, please reveal yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Ben Lawton. <laughs> Was it free too? <laughs> it was two all, and this was the decider. <laughs> wow. I Come on! <laughs> it's quite mad that it's been taken on a point and shoot. I think that's the nice mm. thing about all of these photos, is we've literally taken these photos on a camera that's like 10, 15 quid. Mm. Right. You can really get some nice shots with such a cheap camera. How do you feel, Joss, winning? Again, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel, bad, I feel bad because it was so close. Yeah, it and I really feel like was. we were both really even throughout the whole the whole day. I've got to go ahead and buy the boys darkroom coffees now for the second year in a row. <laughs> On your... Am I bitter about it? Absolutely. <laughs> so that's been the disposable camera video competition volume two. As you can see, uh, Dan isn't best pleased with the result. It's, it's, it's disappointing to lose, but I've, <laughs> I've learned things along the way. Two years in a row now, I've learned lessons and um, yeah, so. Let's hope you put it into practice for round three. Thanks, man. <laughs> round three, we're coming at you. Maybe we'll come at you next time with different cameras. Yeah, let's change it up. Okay. And let us know what you want to see in round three. What should we do differently? And vote yourselves. Let us know who's, who you thought the winner was based on yeah. who you chose, because I'm sure some of you guys are going to prefer different ones to what I did. And even if you did, actually, if you did like some of the photos, what we might be able to do is put them on a Google Drive in the description below. Mm. So you can download the photos and make them your phone screensaver or wallpaper. Or, or NFT. Whatever. <laughs> or NFT. Uh, yes. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video. See you then. Well, I won't, because I won't be here. Here's the coffees that I very much owe you, Josh. And the rest of the boys. Wow. Taking a big out. This is what victory looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Don't drink it yet. Oh, come on. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. Uh, I definitely took a big loss. That's why I'm the only one drinking a black coffee because I don't deserve milk. <laughs> I don't deserve milk. <laughs>